Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, April 4th, I believe. I have a notification, so I can't see my watch. Um, but I believe it's Monday, April 4th, uh, and I am getting ready to head to work, and I'm just feeling good. It's a Monday. This is my second to last week with this school. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tina, I'm the teacup teacher. I'm a fifth year, fifth and sixth grade social studies and ELA teacher in Maine. And um, starting on April 25th, I am switching to fourth and fifth science. And I am switching schools and I'm going back to a district that I used to work for, which is super exciting. I am stoked about it. My drive will be shortened from 25 minutes to two minutes and from 14 miles to six tenths of a mile. Um, I know a lot of the coworkers that I'm gonna be working with and I'm just, I'm really excited to be working in the community in which I live. So it is all just very exciting. The not so exciting part is that I have to pack up my classroom and move it all within like a two day period. My last day is April 15th and I am packing up a U-Haul that day because I wanna make sure that my long-term sub that's replacing me has time to get in, set up all of those things. Um, so on Friday, I'm driving a U-Haul to work, packing it up after school, and then we're either gonna unload it at my new school that night or that Saturday, uh, because I have to return the U-Haul Saturday. Um, Monday, I can't get in to set up my classroom. I mean, I can go in, um, even though it'll be spring break. I can't go in personally because I have a hair appointment, um, which is two hours away, so it's just four hours of driving. I'm not gonna wanna like set up my classroom that day. So basically, set up my, take everything in Saturday, take Sunday, Monday off, hit the ground Tuesday and Wednesday, and hopefully be done. I do wanna enjoy some of my spring break, um, so it's gonna be a very light setup, um, just enough to get me through for like the last six-ish weeks of school, and then I will spend the summer really, truly setting up. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I've had zero sips of anything caffeine, so we're gonna get to work so I can make my tea, and maybe I'll have coffee today. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna get to work, that way I can get everything ready for today, and I will see you guys when I get there. Hey you guys, so I am at work now, obviously. On Friday, I had Caroline come and take my thumbnail picture because I set it up on a tripod anyway, and it's just so much easier if I just have somebody take it. So she came and did that for me, and it was awesome. They came out so good. So I walked in this morning to her mom, because her mom's my, my friend, and I said, hey, I said, can I still Caroline for a few minutes? And she's like, yeah. And I said, she's gonna be my thumbnail girl this week, if that's okay. So I'm just gonna have her take a bunch of pictures, that way I have pictures for thumbnails, because I am terrible at that part. I've been so much better about vlogging, um, not so much about having thumbnails. I think that's it. Life's pretty boring around here. When I get home tonight, oh, after school today, I have a meeting at my new school. So I'm meeting with my co-teachers and like our, our team uh, after school. So once I leave here, I'm gonna go there, which is nice because it's literally right by the house. Uh, so we're going to meet, go over. I was asking them about the schedule, what my day is gonna look like because I could start planning. I've taught science before and I know how I wanna like chunk it basically but the issue is I don't know how long I have them I don't know how many groups I have like I don't know anything so what's gonna happen is we're gonna meet today to go over all of that that way on Wednesday when I go to their faculty meeting I have an idea of what's going on it's not like me playing catch-up while they're trying to have a faculty meeting I'm sure there will be a lot to fill me in on but it will be more tuned in to everything I'm gonna get this stuff ready and I will talk to you guys sometime later today bye I, my kids are in specials and I just recorded a few reels and now I'm going to record their spelling test so that my spelling friends can do that and then my vocabulary friends are working on a unit review and their unit review for today so they have six weeks of vocabulary words and what it asks them to do is they need to use all of their note pages that they have uh, and fill in this crossword puzzle so I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's really bright. There we go. So they're gonna fill in this crossword puzzle and that is their job for today. And then we are gonna move into continuing uh, summarizing nonfiction text. So 
I am going to record their spelling and then I will talk to you guys uh, maybe during my lunch and we'll see how today is going so far. Hey you guys, it is now my lunch and I am kind of perched up on top of like the trapezoid table that's like in front of my desk um, just because I actually end up teaching here all day long anyway but I'm actually sitting here because my desk area is a mess let me turn this desk around uh, I started packing up those three shelves right there so uh, that was all of my supplies that I've purchased or been given for students over the years so like all my pencils scissors glue sticks my dry erase markers like literally everything was all on those three shelves over there all of it is packed in a box I will show you that shortly how I always pack those um, I packed those the same way every time I've switched rooms and it works out so well because I can literally just grab everything and dump it in the totes which I have stacked over by the door. So I will show you those at some point, probably tomorrow morning. Actually, I should show you those before I leave for today because I have to leave uh, right when my students do. So I should show you guys those before my lunch and recess is over when it keeps blowing open this window next to me. Uh, but today's been really good. My kids are chatty per usual, nothing out of the ordinary. We got done everything that we need to get done. I'm trying to think of what else. What else happened? I'm eating my lunch. Um, it's been a good day. Uh, they worked really hard. We are taking our notes on ancient Egypt. So we're blowing through that because I want to try to get them to work. It comes with a project. I do all of the student savvy units because I don't have a curriculum to teach. So I purchased all of those and it comes with a project, which I would love to have them do my last week. Same with fifth grade. So I am like barreling through this, like a stinking freight train trying to make sure that we can get it all done that way. We can do the STEM projects that go along with it. I'll show you what I got done today um, and how I put it all away. That way, once I sit down, I can just run off everything I need and I don't have to get back up because getting on and off that table is a pain in the butt. So, like I said, I got most of the stuff off the shelves. Um, the only reason all of this stuff isn't packed is because scissors are still in the bin. Students are using them. Uh, I ran out of time for post-its. I always do crayons last, just the way that they fit in the box. Index cards also go in last because they're so square. I just fill in like the gaps with them. Stickers, students are still shopping. Thank you cards, still need those. All of that can be put away, just haven't bagged it up yet. And then colors of the world, I'm saving those just in case students need them. So everything is in here. All of, anything that has ink, like all of my dry erase markers, things like that, are laying flat. Um, I put all of the lids in here this time, which I didn't do last time and I just messed them all up. They don't stack very well. So everything's in here. All of my tapes, like everything is bagged according to what a bin is. So what that means is these are the Sterilite bins. They are all labeled. So like, for example, anything that goes in reward pencils is all in a Ziploc gallon bag together. And all of these bins are all of those materials. And then anything that came out of these, same thing. These are all in a bin together. That way, when I'm unpacking, I can literally just open and dump and I'm done. And then I started working on the classroom library. So I pulled some bins from there and then student caddy bins. These take home bins are gonna stay until probably the second to the last day, just because I don't know what system she's gonna have set up, but these do need to go with me. I bought these and they are not cheap. So those are all going to. Breaking down the student supply shelf, this shelf, once I clean it all up, is actually going to go in our bedroom. There is no room for this in my new classroom, so I just left the bare minimum of things that they need, like crayons, colored pencils, scissors. Um, we are out of pencils, and I'm not replacing them because they destroy them, and somehow we keep finding more. So this is pretty much all they have left, and there. I know that sounds really cruel. I promise it's not. There are pencils all over this classroom, and anytime I say I'm not replenishing them, all of a sudden we find pencils on pencils on pencils. I am not kidding, one week I gave them tickets for every pencil they found on the floor or stashed away in the classroom, and I gave away over 100 tickets in three days. So they are there, they just stashed them away and they don't wanna look in their desk for them, or I have them stashing them in the corner over here um, near the classroom library. Somebody found like 30 put in there and one of the kids was like, oh, I forgot to put all those in there. So they have them. 
they're not without pencils and they are allowed to use pen in my classroom as long as it's blue or black ink they are allowed to use pen and they know this so it's not like i only say you can use pencils and i don't give them any they have multiple writing instruments or utensils that they are allowed to use so yeah promise i'm not mean that's just the way that it works so yeah this is the current state of the classroom it's a disaster and i think this week i'm going to start breaking down this area obviously you need to leave the date cards but like i can leave a couple markers and magnets out just in case uh, we don't need this anymore probably leaving all of these i want to break down the bulletin boards but i don't know if i have that in me and this i want to take with me but with not teaching social studies i don't know my kids really like it so i don't know if i just want to leave it or if i want to take it uh so i'm not sure and then all of the books I will eventually pack up I think this week I'm just gonna take the bins and then pile the books like in the same order that they are but just take the bins that way they're all ready but at the same time like this is something I could do probably second to last day or so and then all of the stools with the exception of that green one are my personal hokey stools so those are all going with me lap desks pretty much everything's going so yeah lots of big exciting changes around here lots going on um, it's a little overwhelming but it's also really exciting it's all of the moving of classrooms the last few years really has me kind of paring down believe it or not so i'm um, really just trying to figure out like what i use what i need and what i don't use or need and i have a box in my shed that is all yard sale stuff for this spring that is all going to a yard sale and if nobody wants it i'm just going to donate it or something like that because it's all really good stuff it's just stuff that my logic is if I haven't used it in a year, I don't need it. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm ready for this afternoon for my fifth graders and then I will talk to you guys uh, when I get home because like I said, I have a meeting after school today so I won't be able to vlog right after school but I will talk to you guys when I get home. I am now home. It is currently, uh, I'm trying to do this while holding dogs. It's currently, ah, 5.02. Since being home, I've already changed. I am now outside with the dogs. I've used the ladies room and I unpacked my lunchbox and I left the school at 4.53, like walking to my car from my future classroom at 4.53. So nine minutes, I drove home, unlocked the door, have let the dogs out, have used the ladies room and what else did I, oh, and I unpacked my lunchbox. I also emptied the dehumidifier because it was full. And yeah, we have been productive. Um, this shorter drive is gonna be amazing. Um, the team meeting went incredibly well. I didn't get to meet one of the teachers because she had a prior engagement, which is fine, not a big deal. Like I will meet her on Wednesday. Let me give this wind a second to die down. So like I said, I'll meet her on Wednesday, but oh, it was just so nice and I got to see my classroom. I've seen video of my classroom. My co-teacher who I'm friends with sent me video already, uh, but it was nice to see it in person. And I also got to see this incredible like closet storage room that is attached to my classroom, which is gonna be nice. I will have three sinks in my room. There's a microwave in there. Like it's gonna be the bee's knees. I am stoked the like just the energy that they have and like the schools can't get out of my lilies cam he's, playing, he's digging a tennis ball my lilies are starting to come up finally so yeah I'm just I'm excited it was just nice today I got my student list as well as my schedule I figured out what my day is gonna look like and they are still working on getting together a list of topics that have and have not been covered but now that I have a better idea of what my days are gonna look like things will be a lot easier the only thing throwing me off is I will have six blocks and they're mixed so instead of having three four three fifth I will have six blocks of fourth and fifth so you know period one may have two fifth graders and seven fourth graders and vice versa so they're all mixed which is fine except that I think we decided that next year we may not do that model but I'm excited I'm ready I'm just I'm giddy I will insert a video of what my classroom looks like that my coworker sent me here it is full of stuff and that's fine I, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take in as much as I can and put it into that storage room and then just kind of unpack here and there I don't want to spend all of my spring break like I want to feel at home but I also don't want to spend my entire spring break I'm gonna get them inside 
and then I will talk to you guys in a second. All right, so now that I'm home, my plans for tonight are, I'm gonna finish editing the vlog that I got started on yesterday. I have to put away some laundry that I tossed in the washer yesterday, which now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure is still in the washer. So I'm gonna switch that to the dryer and eventually fold it. Um, and I do need to prepare our dinners for the next couple of nights as well as our yogurt. So it's already cooked, but I portion it out. That way I don't have to measure everything out for the next couple of nights. And I just have to heat it up, basically. So we're gonna work on those things and I need to check my plants downstairs, make sure they don't need any water because it was very sunny and warm today. So let's go get those things done. So downstairs plants are done. I need to check on my upstairs plants. They definitely have not been getting all of the love lately. Um, so I'm gonna go check on those and see how they're doing. And then we're gonna sit, we're gonna edit a vlog. No, I'm doing my nails. We're doing my nails. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go check my plants upstairs and work on my nails and then edit a vlog until Dusty texts me that I need to have dinner ready. And then we will rush to get everything done per usual. Hey guys, so I just finished painting my nails. Um, they're like a light pink. I would show you close up, but I broke two nails last week, which is why they haven't been painted. They're kind of like, they're nubs pretty much. So uh, this one and I think it was that one. Yeah, these two are like really short and uneven, but I just got sick of not seeing anything on them. At least they're done, I feel better. In the meantime, I have about 15 minutes before Dusty's done with work. Uh, so I'm gonna try to edit a little bit more of a vlog. I need to set one to upload for Wednesday because I've been uploading on Wednesdays. I'm gonna try to get one to go up Saturday. We'll see how that works. But I am going to end this vlog off here. I'm not gonna take you guys with me to prep dinner. And that's really all I have for the night. I am going to sit and read. I've restarted Firefly Lane and it's really good and I just wanna keep reading. I'm on page 147 so I just, there's quite a bit to go. It's a very hefty book and that's what I've read so far, I think. Yeah, that's what I've read so far at this side. And I just, I wanna sit and read tonight. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.